And I want to make a, a an important point that I don't think some people understand, and that is no energy is created from technology. Technology is, as you correctly said, it, it's a straw. It, it's a way of accelerating the the access to energy that we already know about. And I'm not just talking about oil. I'm not just talking about uh, natural gas or coal. I'm, I'm talking about all energy that, you know, talk about the sun or the wind um, or, you know, or, or, or water. Um, the resource is known. The resource doesn't change or it doesn't change very much. It's our ability to access it in an efficient and commercial way. That's what the technology does. So we build you know, more effective solar panels um, that can convert the sun's energy faster or more cheaply than than previous, or we drill horizontal wells and, and use hydraulic fracturing in the case of tight oil or shale oil um, to access what's been known. And I mean, as, as we already discussed in the previous segment, uh, these shale uh, resources are, are not new. Um, it's not like we woke up one, one morning in, you know, in 2005 and said, Hey, I just discovered a new, a new thing. <laughs> I mean, oil companies have known that these, that, that these resources have existed for 50 years. They've been evaluating them for 50 years, but oil prices were not high enough until the, the scare of supply that peak oil resulted in in the early 2000s oil prices weren't high enough for markets to allocate capital to develop or optimize the technology to get this oil out of the ground so um and and where we are today johan is um we we've reached a level of maturity in those new plays uh just like any other supply um, of anything, but particularly energy, um, we increase production dramatically, and now we're peaking, and there will come a time in the not-too-distant future where um, that supply will begin to decline. And, and there's this common idea that, oh, well, that's just the United States. I mean, there's shale everywhere in the world. I mean, we can, we should be able to do this miracle that the United States has done. Now, again, uh, this is without considering climate uh, emissions kinds of concerns, but you know, in a in a, in an emission free world, we should be able to reproduce the same phenomenon wherever there's shale in the world. And that that's you know that, that that's a very nice idea, but it, it doesn't work that way. And so, what we've learned and this is purely empirical, it's not theoretical or anything, is that only certain kinds of shale um, work for this kind of, of production. And not only a certain kind of shale, but at a certain depth and at a certain state of geological maturity. And when you lay all those factors on top of each other, what we find is that indeed, North America is a, is a fairly anomalous place with respect to all of those factors combining to make the shale production possible. And as I survey the world and look at where else might this be possible, realistically, I see very, very few opportunities. There, there's a, an area in Russia uh, called the Bashanov Shale that has some potential. Uh, it hasn't resulted in anything commercial yet, but it should work. Um, there's the Vaca Muerte in, in Argentina, which is being actively developed. And then there are um, deposits of source rocks basically in the Middle East, um, which ought to have this potential. Beyond that, um, you know, there, there are little bits and pieces here and there. But unfortunately, you know, geology doesn't work according to human expectations. Then we factor in that, you know, that people in, a, in, in, in population dense areas, say like Europe, you know, they, 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 don't, they don't want 
oil and gas drilling in their backyard, or uh, they don't own the mineral rights. They they don't profit from 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 the drilling. So so then there are social and economic factors that we lay on top of it, and the result is is that this opportunity. It does exist elsewhere in the world. It's it's more limited than most people think. Yeah. 